Welcome, this is Terry Ewell. This study is so lengthy that I will keep the tutorial and reflection in this video quite short. In variation two, the two trills are fingered like this. I suggest that you make the accents in this study by means of lengthening the notes rather than giving more air on the notes. Please see my more detailed discussion of agogic accents in Weisenborn's study number 23, BDP number 131. In variation 2, the B flat 3 to C4 trill is played like this. Variation 4 is in G flat minor. When I perform a minor key variation placed in the middle of a major key composition, I change the tempo of performance and the timbre of my sound. I suggest you perform this variation slightly slower. Return to the faster tempo at the coda. Also dampen the reed to gain a darkened sound as well. Moving your embouchure from 2A to 2B or 2B to 2C will help achieve this result. I discussed changes in embouchure in the reflection portion of Weisenborn study number 34 in this series. God willing, I will further discuss changes in embouchure in Weisenborn study number 50. This study is a theme and variation. Have you thought about how the concept of theme and variation applies to your life? What is the core of your life? What are the things you absolutely won't alter? What is it that defines your character? What is the theme to your life? What are the things that you will vary? What are the things you can do to enhance those life values? Many people write out a mission statement to provide better direction to their lives. What would your mission statement be? Let me leave you with another analogy. Heinrich Schenker studied the music of Beethoven and other German composers from the common practice period. His theory included the idea that great composers made use of limited number of background lines and then composed out, elaborated, or created the composition we hear. Your life theme or mission statement is thus the foundation upon which you build the details of your life. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 